Hi everyone and welcome to my first video in the playlist for book recommendations. The full playlist will be available to my patrons and which kind of patrons it will be available to you can find in the description of the video. So this video will be available to everyone as an example of what they can expect from the rest of the videos in this playlist and here I am going to recommend two books that will help you remain decent at classical chess while pursuing your quicker time control goals, namely Blitz, Bullet or Rapid. The reason for this is that a lot of people complain about how badly Blitz affects their classical chess and I was actually one of them until I realized why this was happening. And I can say that playing Blitz does not affect my classical chess anymore, in fact it makes it stronger. So today we're going to talk about the somewhat neglected subject in chess of selecting candidate moves. The reason why Blitz makes your classical chess worse, in my view, and one of the reasons that you are stuck below the 2000 rating in classical chess, is that you either do not have a strong habit or process in place of thinking in terms of candidates, or that process of thinking in terms of candidates is adversely affected by playing blitz. So by developing a strong candidate selection process and sticking with it, you kill two birds with one stone. One, you will largely be unaffected on your way to a 2200 plus blitz rating by playing blitz before your classical games. And two, you will be doing what most sub 2000 players are simply not doing, and that is constantly think in terms of candidates. I had the chance to play a number of sub-2000 players over the past 13 months and based on what I saw, I am of the belief that the sub-2000 player does not have a rigid candidate selection protocol they follow. Sometimes they think in terms of candidates, sometimes they don't and their discipline to maintain the mindset to consistently think in terms of candidates erodes as the game progresses or is inexistent from the very start. So what they do is they mostly play moves based on feeling, alleged theoretical knowledge and general considerations which they believe are correct. And this in my view is not the way to go about things when you select your moves in chess. So the candidate selection protocol I follow is this. I start looking for candidate moves on move 4. And why I do that, I will explain in my next video, which will have the next set of books I recommend, as this is directly related to them. So as the game progresses, I force myself to have a minimum of three candidates, and sometimes four candidates, especially when I feel a critical juncture has been reached. And if things are relatively quiet and I see a move that seems like, like an only move, and therefore a good move, I will still force myself to find three or four other candidate moves, which are worse, and I do this on purpose, as this validates the move I had in mind as the best move. Of course, I will not assume they are worse, I will still try to evaluate everything, but I would never play a move based on having only one candidate, which seems like the only best move. Whether you want to give this approach a try, whether you think it's feasible or not is entirely up to you. In this playlist of videos I am sharing with you the way I do things and um, when I recently shared this approach with someone who lost their last eight games for their team, they immediately started arguing that there is no time for this in chess that this is simply not possible, as if there was something on a subconscious level that, that kind of triggered a reaction like this, which, which kind of tells me that that is something that they definitely don't do. And why that is the case, I don't know. But um, I maintain not only that there is time in chess for all of this, but also that it is not a coincidence that the person I mentioned doesn't do it and has lost their last team games and on top of that has never been above 2000 rating. So the two books that helped me develop the discipline and mental fortitude to stick with this approach are below. Um, the first one is called Multiple Choice Chess by Graham Buckley 
and in this book you will find a selection of games which are grouped by different themes and in each game um, you will be given four candidates as the game progresses at several places within a game which I found extremely useful because you get the full picture of how a chess game is won purely based on correct candidate selection from start to finish. So I highly recommend this book. This book also has a sequel. It has a part two which I haven't read. So whether you want to do that is, is entirely up to you. But I would not assume is worse than part one. And part one, as I said, has been very useful to me in developing the discipline and the habit of uh, thinking in terms of candidates. You were given four candidates uh, in contrast to the second book, which is called Test Your Positional Play. And I actually believe you can find a free PDF copy of this online because the book is quite old. It's more than, more than 20 years old now. So unlike the first book, this book gives you three candidates and is more geared towards planning in chess and, and chess strategy as such. And um, the book also has some valuable insights when it comes to, to middle game planning and um, in fact is a, is a full course on, on middle game planning, I would say. The book has also quite a few, I believe 30 exercises, which are, which are quite amazing. Um, and these are exercises on on candidate selection. So once again, a highly recommended book and highly recommended two books for people that struggle with finding candidates moves and people that struggle with planning in chess, especially the second book. So that is it as far as this video is concerned. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.